Welcome to a day in my life. Today is Monday, the 10th of October, 6:58 a.m., and I am on my way to the United States of America. On route to Sydney International Airport. So, this is going to be fun. I am heading off to the United States of America for the first time in three years. I'm very excited, also very nervous, because my wonderful friends over at Central Wesleyan in Holland, Michigan are flying me over. Very excited to meet directly with them for this upcoming weekend, and it's going to be really great. En route to Sydney Airport. Starting in 600 meters, merge onto M7. Alright. I'm here at Sydney International Airport and I need to uh, check in my stuff. It's gonna be great. So I have arrived at Sydney International Airport. The place is pretty packed. I haven't been here in a while, three years to be exact, and I am about to fly to Grand Rapids, Michigan, but first I have to fly from Sydney to San Francisco. Then I gotta go to San Francisco to Chicago. Then Chicago to Michigan. So it's gonna be a long flight, but it's gonna be great. Here's what I've bought with me I bought uh, my mono case with two guitars, my mono pedalboard case, a luggage, and my backpack. And that is all I am taking with me to the States. Uh, quite Alright, so I got my boarding passes ready to go. Um, but now I am just carrying my backpack. You must be wondering where my pedal board is. Well, turns out my pedal board had to get checked in. Thankfully it was free, but because it was a little bit too big. But when I get to the US, I don't have to check it with me. It's only because this flight, um, they're limited on space with the overheads, which is weird because it's international, but I guess domestic has more space. Um, so I gotta pick up my pedal board there. So my guitar's been checked in. My luggage is checked in and now my pedalboard has been checked in and praying to God that um, nothing gets damaged because I've got some pedals in there. So um, now it makes me rethink that every time I travel overseas I should have just done what I've done before which is take my heels but I just wanted to take my pedalboard with me because I've never flown with my pedalboard. So why not? Let's see how this goes hey. But it's covered by a mono case. Yeah, I'm safe with that. Mono has never failed me. Um, but let's go to my gate. I'm so, so excited and... Oh, here we are, departures. There's the infamous Sydney departures. Yep. Alright, so security check is done. It took a while because there's a lot of people here today. Um, had to rearrange my bag because I got a lot of electronics in this thing. Anyway, it's time to head out to my gate. Oh man, I can't believe I'm about to board on an international flight again, yet alone the US. As soon as I touch down. <laughs> oh man! Wait, I gotta touch down to Michigan first, so I can eat Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on this flight, shall we? Here's a little bit of um, the international airport. After you go through security and all that stuff, you got all these gadget stuff, a bunch of T2, so if you want any like last minute gifts or if you want to, you know, take anything else extra on the plane, you can do that. Buy a Nintendo Switch if you want, but I ain't gonna do that. I need to get to gate 61. That right there, 61, that is my gate. I just gotta chill here for like the next hour. I got all the time in the world. Huh. All right, I am boarded and I am ready to hop on this flight. All right, this is gonna be exciting. Playing now. Ready to jet. The passenger
Remain seated until the seatbelt sign is off. You may continue to use and charge your phones and tablets. If you're sitting in an exit row, please do not plug your devices into the outlet. All right, just landed in San Francisco. There we are, San Francisco Airport. Um, now I'm gonna pick up my bags and catch a flight from San Francisco to Chicago for flight number two. Um, yeah. Alright, I get off this plane. Time to get my bags. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't feel any sign of jet lag at the moment. So that's good, but let's go pick up these bags. Yo, so the craziest thing just happened. Um, I was detained for like about an hour and a bit for secondary questioning. And because of that, I've missed my flight. But now they've rebooked my flight to go to Chicago so I can get to Grand Rapids, Michigan on time. But as soon as I get off to Chicago, I'm gonna have to run. Ah, oh, great. How awesome is that? But now I'm in San Francisco, past security, got my boarding passes, and I am ready to get out of here. All right. So now I gotta get to gate E because my flight is at 10, 14 a.m. Oh, great. How awesome is that? All right, everyone. I've got past baggage check in San Francisco airport heading to my gate E5 and I'm currently on the phone with my Texas mom. This is Susie everyone. The wonderful mom of my dear friend Spence Peppard. Um, yeah she wasn't kidding when she said San Francisco is crazy. Ain't that right? <laughs> <laughs> you are not kidding. Oh dear. It is bad. It is bad indeed. So now I am going to be stuck in an airport till about 8.15 p.m. tonight because now I gotta fly from San Francisco to Chicago and I have 45 minutes to run to my next gate. And as soon as I get to my next gate, I am on a, f on a, on a flight to Michigan. The flight from San Francisco to Chicago is four hours. So I just came from a 13, 14 hour flight to San Fran. Now I'm on a four hour flight to Chicago. Amazing. So just got the amazing news that uh, this flight to Chicago is going to be delayed. Um, amazing. So that means I have a very, very high chance of missing my flight to Grand Rapids yeah. on the schedule that I was intended to fly on. Oh, American flights. Delays are like a thing. Alright, so my flight is delayed for an hour. <laughs> and um, I may have to find something to eat, so I am looking for a Chick-fil-A. God, I know you answer my prayers and I'm praying right now. Would you help me find a Chick-fil-A while I have an hour to kill in San Francisco airport before I go to Chicago? So I couldn't find a Chick-fil-A in this airport. Um, so I'm just gonna have to set up like Burger King or some sushi place. Gonna be on this flight for a while, so I better eat up. Here's a little bit of this side of the airport. It's nothing, um, nothing grand or spectacular, but it's an airport. Yeah. After Chicago, Say hi, say hi to the camera. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in Chicago Airport right now, and I need to run to my next gate because my plane is about to leave in like 25 minutes. Here we go. I gotta find gate E. F. F18. Oh, frick. Oh, I still have so much to go. F9, F11, 10, F14. Still gunning it. 
Freaking made it. Oh, I made it. After uh, all that running and going from plane to plane, delay after delay, I have finally arrived to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, it's time for me to pick up my bags and meet up with Alec and Kennedy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, man. All right, got my bags. Guitar made it. Pedalboard made it. All right, I'm good. Well, good morning, everyone. I have arrived to Holland, Michigan with my buddy, Alec Reese. I cannot believe I'm here. And this is where I'm gonna be for the week, here at Central Wesleyan. I love and miss everybody here. This is great. And it's not frozen. Last time I was here, it was snowing like crazy. Now it's just nice and beautiful. Wow. Jeez. This ain't 2019, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually three years. three years. It's been yeah, it has really been three years. And this guy is now a husband and a dad. <laughs> you hear that? Right on cue. Whoa! That was awesome. Nice job, sweetie. <laughs> she wants to be part of the camera too. <laughs> <sighs> This is my breakfast this morning. Amazing. So this is my breakfast at De Boer's? De Boer's? De Boer. De Boer. De Boer Bakery. De Boer Bakery. Oh yeah. I got myself a, uh, you call it a chorizo sandwich. Ooh. I've got this like caramelo coffee and like some apple cider donut, or whatever it is. Mmm. Amazing. Ugh. All right, so I just came from breakfast and having a little team meeting. Now we're walking towards the main hall in the studio here at Central Wesleyan Church. I remember this place. I remember this place very clearly. Ooh, and the lights are off. And here we are, the main hall. Last time I was here, they cleared out the front row for the, uh, the album recording. Wait to rehearse here later this afternoon. Oh, evening, sorry. It's gonna be great. Walking over. Ah, to a very familiar place. Ha oh, ha. Look at this. This place has expanded a lot since last time I was here. Look, there's a freaking whole studio here now. Jeez. All that, all that, look at that. Yeah, man. Mm hmm Let's get you set up. Yes, let's do it. So I'll just set you up with an easy precept. Yep. And I can just run you through some units and priests for now, that way you don't have to worry about. Great. And the preamps. All right, let's get you plugged in. Let's do it. Uh, right, let me show you my... my I'm assuming you want to go, if you want to use your IRs on your stock. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go direct in. Awesome. Yeah, just right. th th throw me the, just a couple of ported. All right, hey everyone. Here is my office for the day, pretty much for the week. Um, this is the desk I'll be using. Everything plugs into this rack with these Apollo Pre's, this patch bay. There's a camper there that I'll be using to camp out. I've got my pedal board here, this Mac Tower. All these lovely preamps, everything is controlled by UA Control, um, the console, and yeah, it's awesome. <laughs>
this out. I get to play Alex Gretsch, broadcaster, this weekend. Such an awesome sounding guitar. <laughs> Land. <laughs> oh, waited for this place. This is real. This is actually happening. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, this is this is actually happening. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm about to have my first sweet tea in like three years. Oh man, I miss that so much. That is the taste of weight gain. <laughs> oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's here. It's here. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So now we're in downtown Holland, Michigan, going to Rit Music, which is an awesome boutique music store and a skateboard shop. This thing was here the last, since the last time I visited. Um, that cat doesn't make this amp anymore, but it's pretty cool. Um, this is what I've got here, and it doesn't sound bad at all. Make your tracks. Uh, I made the tracks. Okay. The track doesn't clean up my Okay. that's it. We got lots of time, Dale. 15, 20 minutes. Oh, is it almost five? It's, yeah, it's five a week. Oh, geez. All right. So here I am at Central Wesleyan Church. 
I've got this place to myself, got a bit of downtime at the moment, and I thought I'd run you guys through what I'll be playing with this weekend. So, if you want to start off with a pedal board, you guys have probably seen this a lot ever since you've joined my channel. This pedal board has been set up by my friend Matt New of Pedal to the Metal. Um, it survived the flight over here. It's great, works great. Going stereo out into this radial DI. And the guitars I brought with me is my Tovin Disciple T, my number one, the white one, and my Black Flame Maple Sisu, also by Tovin and Guitars, later with the Lamentone Grinders. And I'll be playing this Gretsch Broadcaster as well, so I'm excited to play this. It's going to be really, really fun. So, that's the rig I brought. Here is the room. I did an album recording here three years ago, so it's really fun to be back, and I'm excited to lead with everyone, excited for what God's going to do. Yeah, this is great. This is awesome. Where's Riley? Okay, and then where's Anna? Okay, I'm just panning your ears. Oh, I could not hear any of the singers in my ears. That's why I was just like, I don't know where I am. Couldn't even hear my own mic. Um, for this song, is there anything that you would want to repeat a section, or do you want to do like say if you want to reverse? Uh, I'm gonna do the whole song again. Whole song again? Yeah. Okay. Everyone got their in ears on. All right. <laughs> All right. Everyone, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. All right. This is gonna be sweet. All right. Uh, audio tech guys, you all ready to go? All rolling? Sweet. Great. All right, let's kick it off with God So Love. Crash on the one, everyone.
during COVID. It was, it was like, really it was bad. Still paid so I was like, it felt like it and, was uh, like hard. Yeah, it was like. And I told them, and then they were like, yeah, I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah. So it was a lot better. Yeah, can I get you anything else? Can we get some napkins? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You got silver and like paper napkins? No, that's fine. Yes. 